Good evening, sister of mine. It's nice to vlog with you again. For those of you who are curious, um, Bella and I were home for winter break and we actually just went back to school about a week ago. Wow, the lighting's really horrible right now. I apologize. I'm not really clear how the videos are going to continue because I have a very, very full schedule this semester. I'm not sure if it's gonna end up being a thing where Bella makes videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I make videos Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I'm not really sure how it's all gonna go down, so, but we'll keep you guys posted. I should have actually posted a video on Saturday, but I was a little busy doing something that looks a little bit like this. We just got out of this really cool thing that's this thing. And five wits, espionage, it was awesome. Okay, this is a unique thing in Boston. It's fabulous. Boston it's Patriots. only. Patriots place, technically in Foxborough, where the Patriots play. Gillette Stadium, that's where we're at right now. Woo! And Bella, I'm sorry that you are stuck in North Adams, but this thing was pretty awesome, it was if awesome. I do say so. It was beyond all blue. But it was for super Amazing. spies only. Yes, and we can't really talk about it because it was for spies. Classified. Classified information. Fate of the free world hangs in the balance. Let's just say the flexibility comes in handy. It does. Warm up first, kids. Don't Limber. forget yes. your yoga. In case it was unclear in that little clip, um, I went on a spy mission with my youngest sister and our friend Trey. This really cool company called Five Wits has this this thing where you go and you pretend to be spies and I can't talk much about it because of course I was a spy but I can say one thing there was definitely some laser dodging and definitely I got the high score of lasers hit hey so Bella how are you doing on your 50 book challenge I'm actually right on schedule, which is surprising because I thought I would have lost it by now. I've already read Looking for Alaska, An Abundance of Catherine's, one Sherlock book out of the anthology that you gave me, and I am already halfway done with this book called Brida by Paolo Coelho. I just want to read you a little bit of a passage from it because I it's something that really spoke to me. She went back to bed and soon fell asleep. Before she did, though, she remembered another story about her father. It was Sunday, and they and all of the family were having lunch at their grandmother's house. She must have been about 14, and she was complaining about not being able to do a homework assignment because every time she started it went wrong. Perhaps the times when it goes wrong are teaching you something, said her father, but Brida was sure that she had taken the wrong path and there was no way to put things right. Her father took her by the hand and led her into the living room, where her grandmother used to watch television. There was a large antique grandfather clock, which had stopped years before because it could no longer be repaired. Nothing in the world is ever completely wrong, my dear, said her father, looking at the clock. Even a stopped clock is right twice a day. That was a little snippet. Um, I really like it, so I think I'll probably send this one to you if you're interested. Bye!